Uh, since the beginning of high school, choosing economics was always going to be a goal of mine. Um, back then, maths was really important to me and I was so eager to study maths and do maths. And so I thought that mathematical component of economics would basically control the entire subject. But after the two years of content, it's not like that at all. If anything, I've learned to make my own opinion on how the economy works and basically real life experiences. And I can actually talk to adult, other adults about you know, these economic problems and it's such a great way to feel like you're doing something better for the world. It's Another thing I like about economics is that it relates to your everyday life. There are elements of economics that you see and that's like one of the things that I do enjoy about that because it's not like those other subjects where you're like, oh, um, we'll be using this in the future. Like economics is one of the subjects that will like say, oh, I'm going to be using this in the future so it's going to be helpful. Um, but the thing is I can say about economics is that you need to have like an interest in it or a passion that can drive you through HSC. My name is Roya and I do senior geography. Hi, my name is Saba and I also do senior geography. So Saba, what made you choose senior geography? Well, I've chosen geography because I'm generally interested in looking at the human impact and effects humans have on the environment and ways in which we can manage those strategies and preserve um, we did so much fun excursions. Our first yeah, one was the Hawkesbury, where we did kayaking. kayaking, and it's so interesting because we find so much like microscopic um, beings in the river, and yeah. just like it was really just fun. fun like, yeah, and yeah. we looked at you know the water testing and um, how clean our water is. I'm interested in the legal system and how the law influences the most vulnerable groups in society. Are you keen on lots of classroom discussions about legal issues? If so, then legal studies is a subject for you. Hi, I'm Selma and this is Lena and today we're going to be talking to you about why you should pick the subject legal studies. I basically pick legal studies because I've always had a fascination with the way the law works and more broadly how it fits into society. Um, I also think it's a great subject when it comes to you know, building new perspectives and actually figuring out why everything happens the way it does. I discovered that the law actually fascinated me through watching Suits and personally found legal studies to be an immensely rewarding subject where I got to learn about the most pressing issues facing our country. Yeah, I agree. Um, hey everyone, I am a year 12 business studies student. Um, I chose business because the idea of someone starting with a notion and soon becoming a billionaire really fascinated me. Um, I expected business to be a very practical subject, to be honest, but it didn't really have that much practical stuff, but the theory was really fascinating still. Um, there are a bit, bit of piece, bits and pieces which threw me off, like remembering all different case studies for all subjects. My favorite topics in business studies are marketing and finance. So just adding a dollar sign in front of numbers really helped me solve math issues. Um, marketing really help, helped me open my eyes. It made me realize all tricks marketers use to sell their products and now I don't easily fall for those tricks so I can save some money. Um, the skills learned in business studies allowed me to join a program called Girls in Business through which me and a group of young girls have developed a business which will launch soon. So now, with these, um, with these skills, I'm able to apply practically. So if you like money, managing budget, love to understand customers, and want to develop amaz some amazing skills, business is your go-to.
So my paper topic was about black models in the fashion industry and my hypothesis was to see if the fashion industry is actually doing something to enable black models succeed. That was what my whole paper was about. So I just managed to gather as much information as I can and I contacted models, black models specifically on social media platforms like Instagram and fortunately I was able to get an interview and now I have information about how the fashion industry works and how it actually, um, I came to the conclusion that it's working towards diversity but it's not at its maximum point as it should be, but they're working towards it. Um, so my um, PIP topic is animal cruelty because it's something you know I felt passionate about for a really long time. So that was like really easy for me to just start because I knew a lot of like um, people I could contact in um, to get help for my um, PIP topic, and it was really easy like with research, um, like my primary um, research methods, like I could do surveys and interviews, and that was easy to just send out um, um, from online platforms. And yeah, it's just. Yeah, just make sure it's a topic that you're really passionate about because you don't want to choose a topic that you're not passionate about. If you do that, you're not going to actually put in the work and effort needed for you to have a good mark in your PIP. And that's really important because it's 40% of your efficiency. And I know it's sometimes hard to you know, come up with a topic. Like It took me a while. I had to look at different aspects because I, I have many interests in different topics. So like I had to look like choose the one that would fit right with this whole project so yeah definitely again talk to your teachers about it see what because your teachers also know you like well so they can tell you oh go into this because you know I've noticed like you're more interested in that so it's just yeah. it'll work better yeah. for you and do yeah. a self-assessment as well within yeah. yourself what do you like to do maybe your hobbies could pertain to yeah. the topic and just yeah, link it you put in the work and effort and it's gonna go a long way <laughs> and telling you also looking over like past pips and yeah, like seeing what they've done um getting ideas maybe looking at research yeah. methods in case you don't know what primary research you need to undertake yeah. so looking at you know yeah. the different and ask questions. Always ask questions. That doesn't mean you're dumb. Ask questions. Yeah, just to confirm. Like if you wanna yeah. you wanna make sure you're doing it right. Yeah. So ask your teachers, they've been teaching for oh, many years. They've been they've had students all year twelves and they've got you. You know, yeah. they've got you, they're here for you. Everyone's every yeah. year has done the PIP. Every society and culture student has done the PIP. They've been through it. Ask other students as well. Definitely like year twelves that graduate like graduated and have because they've been through it, they know what it's like, they can talk to you, give, like, you know, talk about their topic, maybe you might find some interest in that, like, and you might decide, oh, okay, I might follow on with that. Yeah. And just, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. My name is Zainab and I'm a Year 12 Society and Culture student and the reason why I chose this subject is to expand my knowledge on different worldviews and gain more literacy skills as it will prepare you for the real world since SAC looks at real life issues. Um, things to consider while choosing this subject is to work consistently throughout the year on both classwork and peak work and don't leave anything last minute as it will stress you out. Um, in order to get the most out of this subject, you have to be interested in contemporary social issues and also have an open mind towards other people's beliefs and values. Um, my favourite part of this subject is literally everything. I just love it. I love rocking up and so will you.